Hi Simon Kids subscribers, my name is Lisa Bentley and I am the author and illustrator of the children's book The Dreams We Made and today I am going to read it to you. So let's get comfy and then I'll begin. Every night, a little girl and her daddy built dreams out of paper, scissors and glue. Sometimes, the projects didn't go as planned, but daddy was always there to help her. The little girl wished he didn't have to go back to work. Take me with you, she said. I wish I could, said Daddy. But keep dreaming while I'm gone. And she did. As the little girl's dreams grew bigger, she didn't want to wait for Daddy to come home. She wanted to be with him and build together all day. Take me with you, she said. I wish I could, said Daddy, but keep dreaming while I'm gone. And she did. Their new project was going to be their biggest yet. It was taking a long time. But piece by piece, and night after night, it was coming together. They were a perfect team. The little girls still wished they could be together all the time. Take me with you, she asked. I wish I could, said Daddy. Be ready to finish our special project when I come home. And she was. She waited and waited and waited. But he never came. She listened as her mummy gave her some sad news. Her daddy had died. The little girl had lots of questions. But will daddy be home soon? What about our rocket? Daddy can't come home, explained Mummy. I'm so sorry, sweetie. The little girl still felt confused. Maybe Mummy was wrong. Maybe if she kept working on their special project, Daddy would come home tomorrow night to help her finish it.
but he didn't. I miss Daddy, said the little girl. I do too, said Mummy. But Daddy is still with us, even when we can't see him. We can meet him in our dreams and take him with us as we create new memories. Little by little, Mommy helped her pick up the pieces. For a long time, the little girl didn't build anything except in her dreams. Then one night, the moon was the biggest and brightest that the little girl had ever seen. It was the perfect night to finish their project. As she built and held their special things, she felt closer to Daddy. I'll always take you with me, she whispered. And she did. Thank you so much for reading along with me today. I really hope you enjoyed the story. For more videos like this, please subscribe to the Simon Kids YouTube channel and check back often. I hope you have a wonderful day.